that when my leadership level and my leadership skills move up and I grow, then I become actually a, a better person to be able to lead my life. Because how many agree that you have to lead you first? Yeah. Yeah. You guys agree with that? Yeah. Okay, and as you're leading yourself through this life, right, it doesn't always come with instruction manuals, right? When you were born, right, when your parents uh, had you, you know, did, did the doctor say, hey, here's the instructions for Andrew, right here, right? <laughs> Follow the instructions, you'll be a good boy, right? No. Were you a good boy? Probably not, right? Okay. Okay. But, you know, how many, how many parents do we have here? You have kids? Kids? Awesome, right? So the doctor didn't hand you the, the instruction in. So you kind of learn, and you learn as you go. Well, sometimes what we think uh, leadership is, we think, well, as long as, you know, we live and have all these great experiences, you know, I can learn. But basically, experience doesn't make you a leader. Experience just says you've gone through certain things. It's what you do with that experience. So how many have had really good experiences in your life growing up? Okay, probably all of us. If you didn't, well, I got some counselors back here. We'll help you through those. Okay? <laughs> got to have at least one good experience, okay? But how many of us had bad experiences growing up as kids, right? Oh, everything goes up. So it's amazing how a lot of times as, as we grow up and we go through things, what are the things that sometimes stick out the most in our lives? The good things, the good times, or the bad things? Bad Why do we as human beings always focus on the negative and let go of the positive? Why do we do that? Because you use those experiences for your life for the future. Right, right. And so, but if we are constantly thinking about what happened to us in the negative, what, what does that do to our spirit, to our heart? It keeps us in a state of depression sometimes, right? So to be able to switch and, and shift the mindset to say, let me focus on something that's good, does that just come automatically for you? Or do you have to be intentional? Just think about it. For you, it has to be intentional. How many are naturally optimistic in life? Are you? You, you, you looked at the good more than just the negative or what's wrong? Right on. So life gives you a bunch of lemons. You add the sugar and water, and what do you get? Lemonade. I love it. That's right. So a lot of times in life, it's like for someone to be optimistic, you really have to work at it. For some other people, they're always, you know, they see the glass, you know, it's not half empty, it's what? Half full, right? And some just look at the, it's just going down, life is going down, the world is ending, and I'm just so depressed, right? And they're like sucking the life out of you because of the way their attitude, their, their negativity, their complaining, right? How many like to be around people like that? All right? How many are like that? No, okay. I won't, don't, don't ask that. Okay. So the idea of leadership is do I see the value in it in what I do, whether it's in my professional life or in my personal life? If I don't see the value in it, then I'm not going to even lean into it to see what it's all about. So when Dr. Ting brought me in about a little over a year ago, this was part of the transformation for the culture that we're talking about for Boston Dental Group. How is Boston Dental Group going to go to the next level and go from 13 offices, 14 offices, then go nationally, go internationally, global? Why? Because Dr. Ting has a big vision. He's a great leader. He's a great visionary, right? But without the pieces of the puzzles coming together and working, do you think that vision is going to happen? No. That's why the great people that are in our company is I'm looking at the great people that is bringing uh, their portion, their part into this company. But what are you coming into is the question. You know, you, you saw the video, right? How many enjoyed that video? Okay, that was all done by the, the staff the, the, on their own talent, in their own time. And, and they, you know, it wasn't paid actors. You know, we just brought people from different offices. They came together. You know, I was dancing. I was like, why not? You know, just be, be kind of crazy for the company because we've got a generation coming in that loves to have that sight and sound, that loves to have fun. How many like to have fun? I love to have fun, right? I think if you look at life, if I am not going to have fun, I'm just going to go to work, earn my money, go to bed, go to work, earn my, whatever. That's boring. That gets boring after a while. But if we can create a little bit of happiness in ourselves, in, in our leadership development, in our growth, let me tell you, you're going, to be a, you're going to be an influence around others. So why do we bring and why do we need that in an office, in a healthcare facility? 
in any field that you're in. Why do we need that happiness and that to be translated into your work? Why? Absolutely. So why is Dr. Ting investing in your life by bringing me in here and then going to the different offices, doing these leadership developments, not just about motivation, but it's truly giving you keys and tools to help you grow in your personal life. Why would he do that? Because he's a bad leader? <laughs> because he just wants you to make money for him? He wants you to succeed, grow, and he's investing. Absolutely right. And that is the heart. That's why I believe in Dr. Ting. I've known Dr. Ting for about five years. I've known him before I started working here. And he's the real deal. Let me tell you what, I have the utmost respect and honor for him. As a friend, as a partner. And I've known him when we were working together uh, with a, a local charity, uh, dental and, and medical charity that, that I also serve at. And he gives his time and effort to give back to the community. And so as that's how we got to know each other. And, to, and he, I didn't even know he had this. I mean, he, he went down there bragging about, oh, look how successful I am. This multi-multi-million dollar company bringing in millions of dollars every year and employing over 200 employees. It's a big company. And it's got plans to do great things. Now, in order for this company to go to the next level, in order for us to expand and grow, who's going to need to do that and be a part of that? Say me. Woohoo, me. Me. I, you're a part of this. You're a part of the dream. And I love this quote. Ready? You can write this down. Teamwork makes the dream work. I want you to think of that concept of teamwork. Because anything in life, whether you're playing sports, whether you're in the dental field, whether you're a dentist, hygienist, how many agree we need teamwork? Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. The quickest way for the morale of an office to come down is you have a team that is backbiting and fighting and not getting along. How many has been there? How many has been in a family where your team is just fighting and, and bickering and the family is not getting along? Okay, my growing up was like that. Mom and dad, World War III. My dad was an alcoholic. There was a lot of chaos, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. And I remember as a kid, being in the back of my room, just crying, just like, because I felt so helpless. And, and just hearing that back and forth. So I remember emotionally how that affected me. And I said, wow, that, that really, you know, that, that affects you. So teamwork decree does either help or hurt an office. Is that right? Okay, so when we come into a team of 260 employees, I want you to see the big picture. You see your office of how many? How many is that at Lawton? Eight? Six. Six, sometimes seven. Sometimes. Six, sometimes seven. So in a smaller group, okay, probably much easier to manage. Okay, but imagine, I want you to see the big picture. We as Boston Dental Group are a family. You're coming into a big family, and within those offices, are sublets of those families, that culture, that community. And so we it's a it's a task to get everyone on the same page. Like up here, when I come into the office, whether it's Laughlin or whether it's Sahara, right, it should have the same feel. It should have the same uplifting attitude. And where is that gonna come from? Is it gonna come from me only? No. Doctor, where would that come from? It would be coming for you, right? You're the dentist. You're the hygienist, Ralph, right? So you're the one. You're the DA, DA, whatever you are, and wherever you're at in that uh, spot, you're you're gonna have some type of contact with that uh, that patient, right? Coming in the door with one another. Now, how many would love to create that office to where when anybody walks in, whether it's a patient or a team member, you feel lifted up, you feel encouraged, you feel that your team has got your back, and you're willing to work together. Okay, because we've all been in those teams that haven't operated like that. You got in there and they're talking about you behind your back. I mean, it's ever been talked about, right? You, how does that make you feel, Amber? Someone's talking about you. Pissed off, Pissed off right? <laughs> yeah, I like it, yeah. it's, it gets you angry. It gets you upset. It could get you a little sad, a little down, but ultimately it gets you angry. What happens when anger's in the office? When anger's in the air? That is a depleter of your energy. Why? When a person is angry, and you think about it. Well, I've noticed that the amount of anger that I have, by the end of the day, I am completely exhausted. 
So I gotta check myself before I wreck myself. Because <laughs> I, I could be so angry and not realize that, not even be aware of that, because anger depletes your energy. But when you have joy and you have happiness and you have fun, what does that do? Does it relax you? Does it relieve you? That's an energy builder. Why do we do this little dance and have a little fun? Because I need to build some energy. It's, it's getting a little, you know, last. So if I see you guys getting a little wavy, you know, I'm going to say, dance party. That's, that's, it's time to get up, turn the light off, you know, do some dance, right? You know, imagine that in the office, you know, throughout the, the, the day in the office, you know, at some point, you know, you get around noon, noon you're tired, you're, everyone say, okay, dance party, everyone, everyone stops and does a little dance. They do that at Joe's Crab Shack. Right? <laughs> Why not? Why? I mean, we're doing crazy things to get out of the box of dentistry and realize that people are people and people have emotions, whether they're patients, they're not just numbers coming through, right? They're not just, just bodies that, you know, are, are, and you're not just a, a cog in the wheel. You, you are somebody special. Look at your neighbor and say, you're somebody special. You're special. How many agree Ralph is special? Yeah. 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 See, when you walk in the office, imagine, doctor, you come in the morning, you walk in that office, and everyone looks at you and says, It's Dr. Chung. Yeah. 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 Let's try that. It's Dr. Chung. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you'd be like, I cannot wait to get to work in the morning. When I come home, it's not, hey, mom's home, dad's home, you're home. Oh, no. But, but when we come to our work, how much time do you spend with your work team, teammates? Eight to 12, right? How many times, how much do you spend with your family when you get home? None, right? Maybe an hour, five minutes, or if that. Okay, so the majority of our time is with one another, correct? That's why we need to shift the culture of an office, of what we think an office. It is a professional environment. It is a healthcare environment. So number one, you've come here to be a help to the society, to bring healthcare, dental care, to, to people's lives. And doesn't that change people? Once they have that, t that pain gone, yeah, they're happy, much more happier. When you help them, I mean, it's, it's an amazing field that you're in, the healthcare field. So we're all in this, but as, you know, as anything else, we can just get in the mundane, the day in and day out, and we forget and lose focus. It's important that our teamwork, again, teamwork what? Let's say that together. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, that was pretty good. But let's say it like you mean it. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Teamwork makes the dream work. Ah, all right, all right, that was better. That was okay. But this, this time I want you to pump it up. Okay, a couple of notches with your voice. I want you to say it with passion and power. Ready? On the count of three. Teamwork makes the dream work. One, two, three. Teamwork makes the dream work. I like it. Did you feel the shift in energy? When, when there was passion and there was a little bit more attention, it created an energy in the room. It's not mystical, it's just as human beings, you know, we're, we're either, you know, positive, ball of positive energy or a ball of negative energy that sucks things away, you know. But again, when someone's feeling down in the, in the team members, right, wouldn't it be nice to have someone come along and say, you know, Crystal, I noticed that you know, you're, you, I just want to tell you, you're great. You're doing a great job. Thank you for being a part of our team. You know, and you mean it. And you look at it and you say encouraging words. Imagine having that all day, throughout the day. Notes, a little thank you cards, things that you appreciate one another, right? Imagine how that would feel when you come into the office. Wouldn't that feel more like a family, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. All right. Do we want, uh, I think as people, do you think part of our nature is to be a part of something great? Absolutely. I think we all have a desire to be part of something bigger, better, something that's going somewhere, something that's creating a really difference in society. And guess what? That's where you're at. But who's going to do that? You or me? me? You. You say you, you, you. Or say me, 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 right? <laughs> okay? You're the ones that make the difference. So why do we come in with leadership development? Because what, what I'm talking about, 
just doesn't happen. You don't just wake up one day and go, okay, I'm going to be like this, this, and this. I'm going to create this and this and this. You guys come in the office, you probably never even thought of the things that we're thinking of. But you sure agree with them. Is that right? Okay, so how do we implement that? Now that we know, okay, what the importance is, what, what it would feel like if we had that in the office, the next step is, okay, how do we implement that? How do we make it? How do we take it from an imagination, an idea, a concept, to going, it's a reality. How did Dr. Team take from one office going into 13 and 14 offices? Had a vision. Had a vision, but it took action. Love it. You got it right. You see, the answer is already in you. My job is not to give you the answers. My job is to facilitate this type of meaning to allow you to express what's in your heart, and that is the answers. So my job is to say, hey, it's already in you. If I could just maybe stir up a little motivation, inspiration, bring it out, then I've done my job. So that's part of what I do. You guys ever see that, that uh, hey, Dr. T, we're going to hear from him in just a second. That's so cool. Great to see you. So you guys ever see that TV show, uh, Gold Rush in Alaska? And, and it's a TV show where they go into Alaska, and they use all these big uh, dirt movers, and, and what are they searching for? Gold. They're searching for gold, right? So these, these uh, Alaskan gold diggers, they rent all these big equipment, and what are they moving with those equipment? Tons of dirt, right? And why? What are they getting? They're going to get a little cup full of what? Gold. But how much is that gold worth once they find it? I mean, it's worth <laughs> bucks. It's worth enough to go out of your way for six months to rent thousands of dollars worth of equipment to move th uh, thousands of tons of, of dirt to get to that gold. Why? Because it's worth it, right? So what, what we do in, in, our, in our company is we're searching for the gold that's already inside of you. You know, it's easy to see the dirt, right, in people. It's easy to see the negative things, right? And there's sometimes a lot of dirt, right? Okay, Ralph, you don't have too much dirt. It's like easy. I see the gold right in you, man. It's awesome. Some of us have a little bit more difficult time. We focus in on the dirt instead of the gold. But if we can, what, move away the dirt, go after what, the gold, then we can always see the value in your life. So number one, you are valued. I want you to say that to your neighbor. Say, you are valued. You are valued. And I want you to tell you that right from the get-go, even though I do not know you, but because you are a human being, right? You're human and you're being, right? <laughs> no aliens here, right? Okay, good. You are a human being. And because you are a human being, you are valued. You are the most valued commodity on this planet. You're greater and better than any animal, any chicken, any rat. Come on. You are valued. You're unique. That's why your fingerprints are unique, right? Does anyone have the same fingerprints as you? No. Right? How do you know that? What are you in the <laughs> I won't go there. Okay. 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 Because, because every person has a unique quality that they have been born to come and bring to the table. So when you come into a company like this, we're, we're a bunch of gold diggers. We're going to look for the gold inside of you, and we want to see you bring that to the table and add value. Add value to your team, add value to yourself, and add value to this world. How many would agree that's something I could go, go for? I can go after. I can do that. And, and so you're doing that already, but when you come into this company, we're saying let's take it up to the next level. Let's bring out some more gold that's in me. I mean, there's talent in you that, that's amazing. We got people that have talent like Gio, who's going to is going to be on MTV. He's going to, I mean, he's a DA, a BA, DA, dental assistant, and he's got this singing career, you know? So Dr. Ting's investment inside of you for bringing leadership, personal growth, is not only for your professional benefit, but it's for your personal benefit. So how many would like, if you're happier in life, someone said it, if you're happier in life, is that going to translate in your workplace, yes. your teammates, the patients, right? When patients come to you, they're like, wow, you're so positive. Well, it's not easy to be positive. I have to be intentional. But you know what? It's contagious. I like to be around people that lift me up, inspire me, see the best. How many like that? Okay. So, in order for that to happen, we have to take it from a theory, an idea, an, uh, an imagination, a concept, and to make it into reality. Thus, that's why we have leadership growth. That's why we have 
uh, reading. We, we do these mastermind groups. We do uh, these NEOs. Why? Because we're giving you the vision. We're helping you inspire you, giving one key or one tool that will help you develop and move forward as a, as a team, right? So guess what? We're a part of the team. And because we're a part of the team, the dream is going to happen. And you're going to be a part of that. And first of all, we want to appreciate every one of you for doing what you do. Okay? And your ability to go to the next level in the company is there. What is the mission statement? They didn't tell you you're going to be tested by the end of the day. You're going to, you're going to have to know the mission statement. <laughs> they didn't tell you that, huh? Okay, who can tell me the first part? Creating a better lives for all by B. Remember B, G. So, so let's, well, let's work on this real quick. B. Being the what? Exceptional. You're cheating, huh? <laughs> That's okay. Get, get it out. It's on your notes. Get it, right? Being the exceptional lifetime dental care providers. Not just lifetime, but exceptional lifetime. So for them to have an exceptional experience, do we need exceptional employees? Yes. yes. How many exceptional employees do we have? Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I know? You raise your hand, Michelle. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, there you go. Now, I'm going I'm to ask you another question. How many exceptional leaders do I have in this room? Hands up. Woo! Come on, hands up, everybody. Hands up. Put your hands on all. <laughs> so that means leadership isn't for the elite few. Everyone in here is a leader. Say this. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. You're a leader. You're a leader. We're all a leader. We're all leaders. Can you say that together? Ready on the count of three? I'm a leader. I'm a leader. You're a leader. We're, a leader. We're all, all leaders. leaders. A little bit yeah. faster, a little more energy. Ready? I'm a leader. You're a leader. We're all leaders. We are catching the concept, right? So being the exceptional lifetime. And then, what's the D? Developing who? Leaders. All right, so we're not developing ducks. We're not developing chickens. We're developing eagles. Leadership. Developing what? Leaders through career opportunities. What? Career opportunities, which means wherever you're at, do you have the option and the ability to grow yes. in the company? VA check-in to RM, leading a whole practice. Yeah. That's an awesome example, right? What else? What it would give? G. Back to oh, you forgot the end of D. Well, I can't forget that. Developing and personal. Oh, wow. I mean, this company cares for my personal well being? Absolutely. Absolutely. The compassion and care that's on this team is phenomenal. And when you have people that truly care for you and want the best for you, how many can trust that type of leadership? I can trust that. Because sometimes we come in a company, we don't have that level of trust yet. But when you know someone truly cares about you by what their actions are and what they're doing, then you go, know, okay, I can trust. And that's big for you ladies, I know that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I know that, I know that, okay. But the next thing is, uh, G, what, what's G? Give back. Give back. Yeah. Really? You mean it's not just all about BDG and me and you? It's about others. And when we say giving back to the community, that's exactly what we mean. And there are so many different things that, as a result of the company and Dr. Ting's heart, giving back through various charities, Operation Hope being one, giving free dental care to the homeless, to the low income, to the, those that are really, really in need, and not charging them. I mean, that's a, that's a blessing. And that's why the community is, is and listen, this, this is an amazing uh, CEO, leader that we have, that I truly respect. He brought in an idea, a concept, and I know he doesn't like me to talk to him about that because he's very humble, and, and I mean that. But he brought in a concept into this charity called Operation Hope, and I'm sure you've, you've heard of it on the news and stuff. The concept of paying it forward. You guys ever see that movie, Pay It Forward? If you haven't, it's a great concept. The idea is we're not just going to give you a free work. We're going to have you commit. Whatever work we do to you, you will have to commit to help at least three other people and do them something, mow their lawn, cook them breakfast, <laughs> clean their house. You have to do something to, as you have received, you have to go and help somebody else. And as a result of that concept, in the last, let's say, year and a half, almost two years, about 5,000 patients have been served. So 5,000 times three, you see the reverb effect, the, the, the effect of just helping one person and committing that person to help three others? 
It, it just goes out. It just, it's like the ripple effect. You throw the water into the pond and what? It just goes out. It goes out. Why? Because that's the type of company we are. That's the type of people that are coming in. You have giving hearts. Is that correct? Yes. That's right. It's not all about you and just you. It's about how can I help the community. So that is a part of what you're at. So when we say this is our mission statement, it's not a canned thing that's on the wall. Where does that have to be? In your in mind hearts. and in your heart. And say, you know what? I agree with this vision and mission. If you are in agreement with this vision and mission, you, are, you will last. You will stay because you will believe. And as you believe it, you will do. So that's the tracks to the train. The train is going. How many on board? Woo -woo. Woo -woo. How many's on board? Come on, right? Yeah. Right? Okay, and the good thing is each of you have a great, great par uh, part of this, of creating this better life for all. Again, that's, it's not a can. It's true. This comes from the heart of you. And I believe we're like-minded. We desire success. We desire excellence. We desire to have fun, right? Yes. And we desire to grow. Is that right? So my part for you today is simply to get you on that growth path to say, you know what? I see the value in what you're bringing. Leadership development. I see the value in this, and I want it. Because if you don't want it, you're going to feel like it's being forced on you. And I don't ever, I don't speak, and I don't talk, and I don't help train people that I'm forced with. I say, you got to really want it. If you want it, you will grow. And I'm telling you what, Bridget yeah. and the, the amazing stories that are coming out as a result of these mastermind groups where, where people are learning new skills, learning how to be more positive, being more intentional, being able to create what they want. How many want, think you'll feel a lot better when you're creating life the way you want it to be? Not what yeah. someone else is wanting it to be. A lot of times we live life based on someone else's. But listen, it's time to take back control of your life. And live the life that you were designed to be. You're unique, you're incredible, and you're awesome. Woo. You guys believe that? Yes. yes. All right, give yourselves a hand. Yes.